Hi everyone, Sandra Crupp and Innovision. Health tip for the day, week. Um, I have a very dear friend of mine called Roberta Pagliarulo. Um, it took me a while to learn her name. Um, she's from Italy and we work together doing some workshops and retreats and so on. And she's one of the most extraordinary women I've known in my life, actually, who is, uh, makes me feel quite emotional, actually. She's very passionate about what she does. She's a very clever lady, very intelligent and um, very committed. Um, we seem to work very beautifully together. I think that the synchronisation between us is phenomenal and we just always show up. There's a perseverance between us and a determination and a passion for what we do and at the moment um, I'm having times of struggling a little bit emotionally with uh, various self-doubt issues and so on in my business and you know I just do believe I was put on the planet to do this work 100 million percent you know I think it's more than a job I think it's an actual calling um, because of the way I've been challenged in my own life and you know, suffered really with very bad low self-esteem and self-worth and didn't look after myself well and smoked and drunk too much and ate too much. And, you know, that I've really turned that around with a lot of support and help. And one thing I think I am quite often is a little bit hard on myself and, uh, you know, I'm quite driven really. And Roberta always talks about such beautiful self-compassion and she says she learned so much from me. Well, this post is especially for you, Roberta, because I want to be as loving and as compassionate and as kind to myself as you are maybe to yourself. I mean, I do look after myself really, really well. That's like top of the list. But am I really compassionate with myself sometimes? Perhaps not. So that's something I'd like to practice a little bit more is that self-compassion particularly now when so many people are challenged with you know I mean you can't I don't really listen to the news but the, often the few times I do listen to it you know there's people that are getting rid of animals because of they haven't got enough money to pay for them or they've got to move um, accommodation because they've lost their jobs due to um, Covid and so on and it's, it's pretty dire I think a lot of children um, are, are not coping very well emotionally or mentally with not being going to school and families just not coping with the enormity of the pressures. So I think all of us need a little bit more self-compassion because we're doing really well. You know, we will get through this period and perhaps there'll be something beautiful that will come out the other end. There normally is, I think. So what's my message today? Well, I don't want to fill the whole uh, vlog up with tears because I do feel a bit like that sometimes. And if you've listened to this far, please uh, join my YouTube channel. So I'd love for you to maybe have these every week sent to you and, um, you know, that they give you a little bit of hope and encouragement. So, yeah, so before I fill the whole uh, session with a flood of tears, because it's making me feel a bit like that, just want to thank you, Roberta, for those words of wisdom and maybe just give that little bit of soothing balm of self-compassion to myself because I'm really doing the best I can and I know you are doing the best you can with all the resources and knowledge and skills you've got at the moment you know years ago I look back and think well I don't know if I did as well as I could I did as well as I could with what I'd got you know perhaps now I might do things a bit different but then I did the best I could so I wish you a beautiful week and uh, yeah just uh, this is dedicated to my beautiful friend Roberta Pagliarulu so be self-compassionate because we want to be, we're very compassionate often to others, but we need to do a little bit of that for ourselves.